The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. On Thursday and we just now before the break uh, say that Mr. Sun Sukun would be coming back Nous to the courtroom to give his testimony. And this afternoon, we will hear some. However, we have just obtained Toutefois, the information from Mr. Sun Sukun that uh, he would Sun be able uh, or healthy enough to provide the testimony this afternoon for another 10 minutes. Council um, could you uh, uh, Mr. Parry, could you advise the chamber whether Monsieur Mr. Sun Sukun is now si fine to give for the testimony for uh, this afternoon? Mr. Doj Parry, thank you, Mr. President. Indeed, Mr. Sung Sikun indicates clearly that he would prefer giving his testimony this afternoon. The President, uh, Mr. Karnawas, uh, would you mind putting the remaining of the questions to Mr. Sung Sikun this afternoon for about 10 minutes, as you claim? Uh, that would be fine, Mr. President. The President, uh, court officer, is now instructed to call Mr. Sung Sikun and his jury counsel into the courtroom. Mr. Sikun is now back in Without further ado, we would like to hand over to counsel for Mr. Yingseri to proceed with his questions. You may not proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon to everyone. And good afternoon, sir. We left off this morning where I showed you part of your testimony on 15th of August, where you indicated that you had called uh, P. Pun, and he came over to your house at 6 a.m. in the morning and dropped off his statement that he had given to DC CAM. And we were on page. The Khmer page is 40 to 41, 40 to 41 French 52 to 53, and the English would be page uh, 49 going into 50. Now, further down on the same page, it says here that um, you were asked a question whether he had anything, whether he gave you anything, and you said he did not have anything, and I also did not have anything. In the morning, he was having breakfast with a representative from VESU, and we did not speak about anything related to court. And then you go on to give your reasons for meeting him. Now, going back to my original question, whether it was one meeting or two meetings, 
In reading your statement of the 15th of August, it would appear that the first time you met him was in your house at 6 a.m. in the morning, and then either that day or another occasion, you met him when he was having breakfast with a representative of the West Was it one meeting or two meetings? I met him on two occasions. First, before he left for Phnom Penh from Malai, he met me at my home in Malai. Later on, I met him on another occasion at the Mittepiep Hotel near Vatka. Okay, so uh, when you met him the second time, was he still testifying in court? Response. I met him on Friday, if I recollect, and his testimony was not yet complete. And he was on the way to his Charles' home, somewhere, I don't know, and he said that uh, on Saturday and Sunday he would uh, come back to spend uh, the night at the Mittepiep Hotel. Okay, just to make sure that I have, uh, that I have it right, you met him twice, first time at your house, where he came with a document, he then came and testified, or gave part of his testimony, then he came back to Malai, and that's when you met him the second time. Response. Not that uh, I met him first in Malai, and uh, he came to Phnom Penh to give testimony a few days after that, I met him at the Mittepiep Hotel near the Watka Hotel, uh, Watka Pagoda. Now, did you speak to him about his testimony the first time when, apparently based on your testimony, you called him and you asked him to come and bring you his DC CAM interview? Response. Response. During the first occasion when I met Pipun in Malai at my home, he gave, uh, he brought along with him the interview he gave to the DC Cam on the searching for truth. This interview was conducted uh, a long time ago, the interview he brought uh, with him to me. Okay, but I just want to make sure that I have the facts right. Did he bring it along or did you request it? And then when you requested it, did you ask him about his testimony in court? Response. I personally requested for the document from him, but I met him before he came to the court to give testimony. So, we, uh, I I want to make sure that it is correct. I met him before he came, before the chamber. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, at some point, you said that one of the reasons you were Now, at some point, you said that one of the reasons you wished to meet with him was so that you could you could be prepared to respond to the court. 
And here's what I want to know. Voici donc ce que je Why did you think it was necessary for you to prepare yourself de vous to come here to give evidence pour votre témoignage. and in preparing yourself Et dans le you needed to ask Pipun for assistance. Il était important de demander l'aide de Pipun. Response. Réponse. I was not really preparing something. I was just wanting to ask him what kind of questions uh, he would be asked or was asked so that I could be able to provide the full testimony before the chamber. I was afraid that I would not be able to recollect everything because this happened a long time ago. All right. Now, we know from your testimony that you listened to his testimony over the radio. I believe that's what you said. We now know that you spoke with him. We also know that you read his statement to DC Cam, which you say he gave you before he testified. Is there anything else that you looked at or studied other than your own statement before coming here to give your evidence. Avant de venir déposer. Response. I didn't Réponse. read his statement uh, when uh, uh, concerning the one he was about to uh, give testimony before the chamber. I only read uh, the statement uh, that uh, was written on the search Tout for the truth. I knew him as a Pipun or Chim only, no other names. Uh, thank you. With that, I have no further questions. Uh, we wish to thank the gentleman for coming here to give his evidence. So on behalf of Mr. Inksari, Mr. Angler Dom and I would like to thank you and wish you safe travels and the best of luck and thank you, Your Honors, for allowing us the time to question this witness. We know it's been very difficult in testing. Thank you. For our interrogatory, we know that it has been hard. Thank you. The President. Thank you, Council. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Mr. Sunskun. Your testimony has now come to an end. Uh, you are now excused. You are free to go back to your place, and the court thank you very much indeed uh, for giving up so much of your time to give testimony before this chamber. We appreciate your great effort, patience, and uh, your testimony contributes a lot to the ascertaining of the truth uh, before the chamber. The chamber would like to wish you all the best. And Wish you travel back home safe and sound. Court officer is now instructed to assist with the Wesu to ensure that Mr. Witness can be returned home. Thank you. ជាបន្តអង្គជំរះបន្តស្ដាប់ទៅខេកម្មសក្សីសោសិមន្ត្រីរដ្ឋបាលតុលាការអញ្ជើញសក្សីសោសិចូលមកកាន់ទីក្ល
The President, uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Sarsi. The Chamber continues to hear your testimony today. Yes, uh, rather, uh, during your current testimony, at that moment you were too emotional that uh, we could not uh, continue our proceeding. Vous and we already consulted uh, with Lors de votre the press unit to ensure that someone is sitting next to you, someone who can que que consult with you or at least uh, to be with you to ensure that uh, you can cope with your emotion when giving testimony. Garder la maîtrise de vos émotions lors de votre déposition. Mr. President uh, says uh, Nimol. I am Nimol from the Vesu unit, uh, Your Honor. Bonjour, Monsieur Président. Je m'appelle Nimol. Je travaille pour la section d'appui aux témoins. Thank you very much. Uh, you have already been Monsieur informed Monsieur that uh, Vesu unit uh, is pro uh, has provided us with a staff member to assist uh, witness Sarsi during Donc, her testimony. So the chamber has admitted uh, Mrs. Nimo to assist witness Sarsi. According to our schedule today, 
it is time for the prosecutor to proceed uh, with their remaining questions. The chamber would like to know how much time co-prosecutor would need to put questions to the witness uh, because we have learned that perhaps you would need only 10 more minutes as we uh, still recall. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, uh, 15 minutes might be closer to the um, estimate. Um, just overall, we've done some um, uh, um, planning in terms of time between us and our colleagues, the Council for Civil Parties. Um, last week, we um, had asked the um, senior legal officer to um, shorten our allocation for this witness uh, from one and a half days to one day and a quarter um, in order to allow an extra a quarter of a day for the next week, which is, we understand, TCW 338. Um, and looking at the real time um, and where we are now, by my calculation, we've done approximately three hours and 50 minutes, um, which would leave um, approximately two hours and 40 minutes uh, on the basis that we are um, uh, given a day and a quarter, um, and if that is, um, if we have your leave to proceed on that basis, I will take approximately 15 minutes, and then the rest, um, approximately two and a half hours or, or thereabouts, will be left to my colleagues uh, on the side of the bench. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, and good afternoon, Mr. Sarsik. As you heard, um, my questions will be Bonjour, fairly brief. Madame, um, what I would like to do is simply uh, go back to uh, your testimony from last week and clarify um, just a few uh, specific matters. Firstly, um, I asked you um, about um, the order uh, or instruction that was given on the 17th of April 1975 to delay entry um, by three days in order to allow um, for the evacuees to, to leave Phnom Penh. And there was one aspect of that uh, issue that I wanted to clarify with you. We now have a transcript of your interview with the investigators. And for the record, this is document D200-6.8. And there is a, a, a difference in the account that you gave the investigators to, the, um, to how you responded to my questions last week. I just want to see if we can reconcile that difference. Um, you told me that you recalled that the instruction had come from Tivol and Hunim, and that it was your uh, unit chairman, Sal, that had uh, uh, passed on this instruction. Do you recall that? Response. I am not sure what kind of instruction was uh, about. Could you please give me more details on this uh, from the President? Yes, I was referring to the uh, instruction to delay entry into Phnom Penh um, by three days because more time was needed for people to fully evacuate. Response. At that time, my superior did uh, give this instruction to us to spend uh, some time at Chattaras Mountain um, be there until the city was evacuated before we could be allowed to enter. And, and do you recall um, uh, telling the court last week that you recall that it was Tivol Hunim that had issued that instruction and that Mr. Q. Sampan was not one of the people who had, who had given that instruction? No. The President. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, 
please uh, le procureur, repeat le président. Uh, your question Veuillez, because it was not uh, rendered uh, by the interpreter. Repetez votre question car elle n'a pas été Thank you, Mr. President. Um, we'll do so. Mr. Sasik, um, do you recall telling us last week that um, you, as, you, as far as you could remember, it was uh, Hunim and Tivol that had issued that instruction and that it was not Mr. Kiyosampa? Do you recall saying that? Response. I learned about this from my superior, Réponse. and Je uh, su it was not Mr. Kiyosampan who told us. It Ce was our superior uh, at that time, notre superior uh, the head of the our team who told Le chef us. De notre uh, I do understand that my question is um, as to your question. recollection oui, about where that instruction sur... originated. Um, and I'm going to read to you now from your interview with the investigators, and this is the document I referred to earlier, D200-6.8, um, the English ERN is 00834863, the Khmer ERN is 00833490, and French 00835914. I'll read uh, this brief uh, discussion or this part of it. Question, and did you hear of that evacuation from your chairman or did your chairman issue the order to evacuate the people? Response, no. This might have been from others making the communication from the side of those grandfathers, and then the instruction was given to our chairman saying that the, their entry was not yet possible like that because the people were evacuated in the wrong direction. Question, who were the grandfathers you have spoken about? Answer, those three uncles. Question, Kyu Sampan, Son Sen and Hu Nim, those three persons? Answer, yes. Mrs. Sarsik. Madame Sarsik. I know you've told us that Son Sen uh, that you only met Son Sen in Phnom Penh um, when Sonsen you entered. But does that refresh, re refresh your memory as to where the original instruction came from? In this statement to OCIJ, you specifically Dans include Mr. Q. Sampan as one of the people who gave the instructions. Response. So far as I remember, I did not hear directly from Mr. Kilsompon, but my chairperson, Mr. Sao, Monsieur Sao, and mon chef, Tiu Ol and Hu Nam, I heard uh, from them, and I also gave my statement to confirm this to the uh, investigators who conducted the interview and I referred to them as om -om or uncles because they are elderly people. Thank you. Uh, in the interest of time, I'll move on from that point. Um, we also discussed um, anniversary speeches last week and you will recall there was one particular speech uh, or, or transcript of a speech that I uh, made a reference to a, a speech a attributed to Mr. Q. Um, in April 1977. April um, what I want to ask you about is your knowledge as to whether broadcasts of speeches were si made by the radio. So could you tell us whether you recall whether there were broadcasts of speeches by the party leaders or the si country leaders that were made on the radio station, station where you worked? I do not recall it. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. 
very well. Um, we will return to D200 slash 6.8. Um, again, this is a transcript word for word of your interview with the um, investigators. And this section starts in Khmer on 00833-495, French 00835-919, and English 00834-868. And it starts at the bottom of the page in each of those languages. I will read... Um, the relevant parts to you, Madame Sassik, and see if you, if you recall Madame this Sassique. interview, if this et refreshes your memory. Si refreshes la Question. Or Nguyen Chia, or Pol Pot, or Ying Siri, did they ever come to the Ministry of Propaganda to make any statements live on the radio or speak about their instructions or principles? Or instructions or Answer. Principles. No. If they no. wanted to deliver a speech si or communicate some information, they recorded it on a small cassette player. A little bit further down, question. So a small bas, cassette player would be brought in. Answer, yes, tape recording. Réponse, question, oui, tape recording. Sonore. Answer, yes, oui. the recording would be brought in, copied and echoed. Madame Sassi, does that refresh your memory, the Madame tapes? Sassique were brought in from the leaders to be broadcast on the radio. Que des cassettes provenant des dirigeants étaient apportées afin d'être diffusées à la radio. Réponse. Mr. President, that is uh, correct. Président, and exact. if the uh, leaders addresses uh, the mass during si les uh, la parole devant important les festivity normally um, important festivity, it was uh, tape recorded générale, and that recorded was, uh, recording was passed to us for broadcast. Était, nous pour que nous le and do you recall Question. whose uh, speeches they vous were? Vous du discours de qui il s'agissait? I am sorry, I cannot je recall. Suis désolé, je ne souviens pas. And do you recall Question. hearing the actual tapes? Vous souvenez-vous avoir entendu les cassettes proprement dites? No, I don't. Réponse: Non. But if uh, there were important speeches Mais to be si uh, delivered to uh, the popular masses, I uh, had to listen through radio bro uh, broadcast myself. So then you radio. did hear um, some speeches by the leaders delivered on occasions such as the anniversary of the 17th of April. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? I do not uh, recall this detail. Je ne me souviens pas de ces détails. But in certain uh, cases, I uh, overheard the broadcast through radio, but I did not pay attention to, to them. Entendu l'émission à la radio sans y prêter une attention particulière. Thank you. And moving on to um, another topic briefly. Merci. Je passe brièvement à autre chose. We also discussed last week la semaine dernière a, a meeting that you attended nous avons aussi parlé d'une réunion Unim, à laquelle vous avez assisté en compagnie de Unim réunion um, qui a été interrompue then, parce qu'il a été appelé après quoi il n'est jamais revenu vous vous souvenez-vous à quelle occasion what, what, cette réunion a eu lieu est-ce que vous parliez d'une émission ou d'un programme particulier Avec Hunim. 
I would like to respond to, it, to this question as follow. The meeting was uh, simply to uh, draw the lesson learned uh, relating to the uh, art performance and uh, the reading out of the news, for example, on the radio. Uh, this was the meeting in order to draw lesson learned. Your Honours, uh, in the short time remaining um, with your leave, I would Mesdames like to um, juges, read out to the witness à a brief excerpt from um, bref a document that we referred to before, um, it is a letter written by Hunim on the 10th of April 1977, um, Hunim. and it is addressed to uh, Pol Pot, uh, brother Noon, brother Van, Van brother Vaughan, Vaughan Vorn, cadre Q, au cadre Q and Hem, and Hem. it's document, document introductory submission 5.30. Um, with your permission, I'll just read the first paragraph and see if this refreshes the witness's memory as to the circumstances of the meeting. La mémoire du témoin quant aux circonstances de cette réunion. Yes, you may proceed. Le président, je vous en prie. Madame Sieg, um, I'll read the first two sentences of this letter. L'accusation. Les deux premières lettres. Today, the 10th of April, 1977, I apologize, I will first give the ERN, and English, I'll return to the document. Today, 10 April 1977, while I was extremely busy preparing a radio broadcast to memorialize the second anniversary of the great victory of 17 April 1975, Cadre Pong called me on the phone to work with Ankar. I was very surprised and did not expect to be arrested by our military. Madame Sik, looking at that passage, it suggests that Cet this event took place on the 10th of April 1977, and that Hunim was working on a broadcast in relation to the second anniversary of the 17th of April victory. Um, does that refresh your memory of the meeting um, that you had with Mr. Hunim that day when he was called away? Hunim a été appelé à l'extérieur. Réponse. No, I do non, not recall this. je ne m'en souviens pas. Who is the Pong Question. referred to uh, in this document that Qui I just read out? Qui est le Pong cité dans ce document dont je viens de donner lecture? Réponse. Mr. President, I don't Monsieur le Président, really know this name. je ne connais pas vraiment ce nom. Because our time is limited, I'll just indicate that the witness discusses um, this individual at D200 slash 6.8, Khmer ERN 0083342. Zero zero eight three five zero zero nine one six in English zero 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 eight three four eight six five eight hundred thirty four eight hundred thirty five. You told us last week, Madame Sieg, that you La passée, Madame Sieg, had gotten to know vous uh, avez Mr. Kusampan and his wife after 1979. Did you ever discuss with them Hunim's disappearance? Avez-vous jamais parlé de la disparition de Hunim avec eux? Mr. President, I uh, actually knew Mr. Kilsampon during the war time, the five-year uh, period of war time, but as for his wife, uh, I got to know her at a later date, uh, but I had never had any uh, personal conversation uh, with them. Uh, 
And just a, a, a couple more questions. Um, Encore deux you ou trois questions. Vous dites ne jamais avoir eu de conversation personnelle um, avec eux. How is it that you got to know Comment se fait-il que vous ayez connu la femme de Kyo Sampan From 1979 to 1982, I met her in office along the Dangrek mountain. At that time, I met her. Did you work with her or with Mr. Kyo Sampan? Question. Vous l'avez rencontré elle ou bien Monsieur Kyo Sampan? No, I did not work uh, with either Mr. Kyo or his family, but I worked in Monsieur a Kyo unit, uh, the femme, transport unit, in 1982. Now, you told us uh, Mr. Kyo Sampan's wife came to see Question. you. How was it that she knew Madame where you lived in 2010? How was it that she knew where you lived in 2010? I cannot recall the Je ne me souviens pas the year, de but l'année. Before my uh, my husband passed away, she uh, mon mari. went uh, to meet my Avant son décès, uh, husband, elle est venue and she wanted to know whether or not uh, Mr. Kesson had ever si uh, been to the uh, propaganda uh, unit. Uh, but at that time, my husband was not around. De and Mais à but mon mari before that, là. I did not uh, know her personally. Avant I did cela, not have any personal conversation, her, personal, uh, conversation uh, personal conversation with her, but a conversation with her. But I simply knew her. Mais je la connaissais simplement. Let me just repeat that question. It's my last question. How question. did she Dernière know question. where you live? Comment savait-elle where you and your husband lived? Vous habitiez avec votre mari. Réponse. That I did not know the um, how she could uh, get to know me. Probably she noticed me when I was su. performing. Uh, Elle m'avait sûrement remarqué art pendant or so. que uh, but she knew je me produisais. Mais elle connaissait thank mon mari. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Sasiek, and thank you, Your Honour, for the time Merci, time Madame Sasiek. Merci, Mesdames, Messieurs les juges, de m'avoir donné no le temps de mener mon interrogatoire. J'ai terminé. The President, thank you. Now I hand over to the lead co-lawyers for the Civil Party. You may now proceed. Lawyer Pichang, thank you, Mr. Maître President. Pichang. Good afternoon, Merci, Your Honours. Bon après-midi, Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges. And good afternoon, everyone. Bon après-midi, And also, tous. good morning to Madame Sosie. Bon après-midi, Ms. Benny Ye will uh, take the floor uh, to put the question to you, and I will uh, take uh, uh, the question questions. after she completes uh, her version of the question. The après President, quoi, yes, you may proceed. Parole. Le président, je vous en prie. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, everyone in and outside of the courtroom. My name is Benny Ye. I am one of the international civil party lawyers, um, and I'm here today to ask some questions to you, Madame Sosiek. Madame Sosiek, um, first, I want to talk a bit about the time you were working at the Ministry of Propaganda in Phnom Penh between April 1975 and early 1978. You said that at that time you were a singer in the arts unit of the Ministry of Propaganda, is that correct? Yes, that is correct, uh, lawyer. 
following the liberation of 1975 to 1977. Uh, after 1977, I left uh, and joined the Ministry of Propaganda. When you, as a singer, did you have to memorize the text of the songs that you were singing? Deviez-vous mémoriser le texte des chants que vous chantiez? Whenever there was a Réponse. live performance Quand or, il y avait un spectacle, or performing arts uh, in certain place, uh, then we had to uh, rehearse. Nous devions But répéter. if uh, it was uh, recorded uh, or recorded on the disc, uh, then we Mais had to look si at y the avait un enregistrement manuscript. Sur disc, nous devions Do you remember what the text of the songs talked about? La transcription. Question. De quoi parlaient ces chants I can Réponse. still remember the song Je me entitled souviens encore the liberation chanson of Phnom Penh on the 17th of April 1975, but I cannot uh, remember them all. Mais je ne me souviens pas de tous les chants. Cela fait trop longtemps. It has been a long time. I forget most of them. J'ai oublié la plupart de ces chants. You don't do you remember any other topics except for the liberation Question. in Phnom Penh? Vous from the songs? Or from the performances that you did? La libération de Phnom Penh? En ce qui concerne ces chants ou les spectacles auxquels vous avez participé? Jenning. I Réponse. I can only uh, recall the Je me souviens uh, title of the titre uh, performance or the story. D'un spectacle. Um, for example, everything for the revolution. Par exemple, and as for other traditional performing arts uh, of Cambodia, I cannot recall the uh, names or Je me titles of those stories and performing arts. Histoires. De ces morceaux. Can you tell us who wrote the text of these songs Question. or who wrote the stories qui for these performances? A écrit le texte de ces chants, qui a écrit le scénario de ces spectacles? Lawyer, in my department there were different sections. For example, if it is a uh, song composition uh, avait, section, avait, then exemple, they may uh, draft the text of the song. And even those who were uh, blind or they were handicapped, they were also asked uh, to uh, design or to uh, compose uh, songs or so. And then uh, it was passed to somebody else in order to Ensuite, refine and fine tune the language of the songs before uh, it is sent to us qui uh, to sing. peaufiner le texte et ensuite c'est nous But, qui uh, chantions. It was not confined to the uh, handicapped, the phys il avait physical pas handicapped uh, people, but there were physique. other people as well who were in the uh, song comp composing uh, section. Qui faisait partie so de there la were different sections under the department with which I was attached at the time. Du département auquel and the song composing Question. section, was it under the control of the Ministry of Propaganda? Du ministère de la propaganda? Yes, yes, it was under the Réponse. Ministry of Propaganda. Oui, du ministère de la propaganda. Thank you. And you said you Question. also had to record vous songs for the radio. Were these songs broadcasted on the radio? radio. Est-ce que ces chants étaient diffusés à la radio? Yes, Réponse. they were. Oui. And do you know what was the purpose Question. of broadcasting these songs over the radio? Saviez-vous quel était l'objectif poursuivi par la radiodiffusion de ces chants? Uh, I did not uh, understand Réponse. the motive of Je broadcasting. La raison the, these de cette uh, songs, but I chants, think uh, that the prime motivation was uh, to encourage people uh, to uh, strive 
to grow crops and à other cultiver work. des légumes et was the Ministry of Propaganda the only Question, one recording songs during the Democratic Cambodia? Yes, only Ministry of Propaganda oui. was uh, entrusted uh, to record uh, songs in order for broadcast through national radio station. And do you know Question. if they broadcasted any other songs si that were not recorded by the Ministry of Propaganda but recorded by other artists before the Democratic Cambodia? Avant le Cambodia Democratique, ont été diffusés? No, they didn't. Réponse: No. Do you know what the reason was for do, for not Question. doing that? À votre connaissance, pourquoi pas? In my understandings, it was not compatible with that, uh, the circumstance and situation at that time. Can you explain further what it means not compatible with the situation at the time? Pas compatible avec la situation de l'époque. Because uh, at that time we gained uh, independence. Nous avions obtenu l'indépendance. It was not uh, the situation of the previous regime. La situation n'était plus la même que sous le régime précédent. So the songs from the previous Question. regime Donc, were regarded as inappropriate for the time of the Democratic Cambodia. Is that correct? Pour l'ère du Cambodia démocratique, c'est exact. Réponse. Uh, I do not understand uh, it very well, but uh, practically at that time, uh, those songs were not broadcast. Pas très bien, mais dans pas and do you know what happened Question. to these old songs? Savez-vous ce qui est arrivé à ces anciennes chansons? I, that I do not know and I do not understand Réponse. it either. Je n'en sais rien, je ne comprends pas cela. Okay, thank you very much. I would like to Question. come to a different topic now. Um, you mentioned that thème. after uh, Honim's disappearance from the ministry, other workers of the ministry were also removed. Now I would like to ask you to tell me if you know some of the people je that I will give you the name of. Si vous connaissez les personnes dont je vais vous donner le nom. And I will start with Tout a person named Choi. Do you know the person named Choi? Nom de Choi. Connaissez-vous cette personne? Réponse. Yes, I do. Oui. Uh, Choi uh, was uh, was in charge Choi for, uh, of the work over there uh, following the, uh, the removal or the transfer of Hunam. Le transfert de Honim. Do you know his full name? Question. Connaissez-vous son nom complet? I do not know Réponse. his uh, surname, but uh, people call him Om Choi. Les gens l'appellent Om Choi. And can you tell me what his responsibilities Question. were at the Ministry of Propaganda on when you say that he was in charge of things? Ses responsabilités au ministère de la propagande, puisque vous avez dit qu'il était responsable. He came to take Réponse. the place of uh, Ho Nim, Il est venu and he Ho Nim. was uh, tasked to oversee Il a été uh, works of different de sections. Le travail des différentes sections. And did uh, Choi at some point leave the Ministry of Propaganda? Choi a quitté le Ministère de la Propagande. Yes. Uh, later on, oui. I did not uh, see him anymore. Suite, and then after that, vu, uh, I also left uh, this ministry, so ensuite, I did not know or have any information of that ministry anymore. 
plus eu quelques informations que But ce soir sur ministère. Mais il a quitté avant le ministère, n'est-ce pas right? Question. Mais il a quitté le ministère avant vous, n'est-ce pas Non, j'ai quitté avant lui. C'est moi qui suis parti, suis parti avant lui. I left uh, the Ministry of Propaganda to the printing house, uh, the state printing house. Um, Mr. President, with your permission, I would like to read from the OCIG statement of Madame Sosiek, document number E3-379. English ERN 0032-3334 Khmer ERN 0029-4810 And the French ERN 0038-5207 In the... In the... Le President, you may proceed. In the OCIJ statement, Madame Sosiek, you said that I knew Choi. Choi was arrested in approximately 1977. Choi came from the Ministry of Education. Do you still stand by this statement? I might have uh, confused uh, this on this point. Actually, Choi was the one who uh, sent en fait, me to the uh, Department of Printing House. But later on, uh, Choi disappeared suite, Choi from the Ministry of Propaganda. propaganda. That's what I knew. Uh, I learned later on that he was Par not suite, the person in charge of Ministry of Propaganda, but it was him who sent uh, me to work at the uh, state's printing house. I met him for a short while. Je how, how did you know that he disappeared after Question. you left the Comment ministry to go to the printing? How did you know that he disappeared after you left the ministry to go to the printing? Question. How did you know that he I actually did not know whether or not uh, he was replaced or he was transferred to somewhere else, but I knew that uh, he just disappeared from this ministry. Um, for the record, Mr. President, I would like to. Um, Je voudrais qu'il soit donné acte, Monsieur le Président. I would like to mention the document E3/342, which is a revised S21 prisoner list, and the name of Choi, alias Sao Chan, can be found on this list under the ERN number 0032992, which is the ERN number for English and Khmer both. De et du I would like to move on to another person. Je um, à une autre personne. Did you know the person called Han? Une personne du nom de Han? Réponse. Are you talking about Han or Han? Vous parlez de Han. I'm speaking about Han. De Han. Question. Je parle de Han. Yes, uh, I, oui. I do. Can you tell us what his responsibilities Question. were? Response. Response. Han. Response. Han was a writer. Han he helped écrivain. Uh, writing and correct uh, some of the radio broadcast texts, including information or news broadcasts. Do you know his full name? Question. Connaissez-vous son nom complet? Response. Response. No, I don't. No. And can you tell me what the other hand's responsibilities were? Response. Another person is by the name Han. He was on in the group of the musical or music band. 
So we have two people, one person by the name Han and another by the name Han. Um, I would like to know more about the music, uh, the person from the music unit, Han, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Um, can you tell me if this person left the Ministry of Propaganda at some point? Response. Yes, he did. Oui. He left before I left uh, the propaganda sec uh, section to the printing house. Que and did he leave because he was transferred question. to another Has unit, or do you know why he left? Un transfert vers une autre unité. Savez-vous pourquoi il est parti? Response. I don't Réponse. know. I do not know whether he was relocated or not, and I still don't know until this day. Do you know something about his background? Savez-vous quoi que ce soit à son sujet et ses antécédents? Response. I knew him. Through Je connu. some conversations with him, and he talked to me in detail his background. He said he was an intellectual from Russia. He educated, uh, indeed, he was educated in Russia, and he returned to Cambodia. I do not recollect uh, in which year he came back from Russia, but I met him in 1973, and we had been working together all along until he disappeared. For the record, I would like to cite the same document that I just mentioned before, E3-342, um, which lists Han alias Ngong Cheng Li, as a music teacher from the Ministry of Propaganda, um, under the ERN English and Khmer 0032963. Madame Sosiek, another person I would like to ask you about is called Mon. Do you know a person called Mon? Response. Yes, I do. I remember the person by the oui. name Mon. Mon. Can you tell me what he did Question. at the ministry? Response. He was an assistant. He worked in the same group as Han from the music uh, band. I do not know who would be the team leader, but he belonged to the same group. And again, I would like to ask you, did Mon leave the ministry at some point? Question. The same question I the ministry at Response. Yes, he did. He left from our ministry. And do you know where he went to? Response. No, I don't. No. Mr. President, again, I would like to refer to the document E3-342, which lists Mon alias Malcolm Sreya as member of performance group K33 of the Ministry of Propaganda, and this is, can be found under ERN English and Khmer 0032-29829. And now, Madame Sosik, I would come to a person that Madame you've mentioned frequently before, Sao. Can you tell me again what Sao's responsibility was? Response. Sao was in charge Sao of the art group. He was overall in charge of the art section. Do you know his full name? Connaissez-vous son nom? 
Response: No, I don't. No. And was Sao, did Sao leave the ministry or was he removed from the ministry at some point? Is que Sao a quitté le ministère ou a-t-il été retiré du ministère? Response. I do Réponse. not recollect uh, the exact date, but Je he was relocated. Mr. President, again, I would like to cite the document number E3-342, the S21 prisoner list, which lists Sao, alias Teixiem, as staff of the Ministry of Propaganda under the ERN number e English and Khmer 0032-9647. Thank you, Madame Sosiek. Merci, Madame Sosiek. Now I would like to ask you a few questions on what happened in early 1978. I know this is going to be difficult for you to answer, but I think it's very important that the court will hear about this, because many victims may have experienced similar things as you have. So please take your time with the answers. You mentioned to us last week that you were removed from the Ministry of Propaganda in 1978. Can you remember what month it was? Response. Actually, I think I wish to elaborate a little bit on this that doesn't affect me, myself, but it affects my whole family. Would you like to tell us a, Would you like to tell us more about what happened to you and your family? Souhaitez-vous nous dire plus en détail ce qui est arrivé à vous et votre famille? Response. I would like indeed to tell you about my family. En effet vous parler I de ma got famille. married in 1976. Je me suis I got a daughter. Fille. However, my husband was removed Mais from the location. I have Marie no information about him. I don't know whether he is alive or dead. Son sujet. Je ne sais pas in, il est en vie ou il est mort. And later, I was. Uh, taken to study session, but it was not at the study session. I was placed at Wattom Pagoda, and my little daughter kept walking outside of the fence, and I tried to grab her. Then uh, some male, uh, some men came to me to, to stop me from going out of the compound. And then I was told that I had to remain in the building because I would be seen by the visitors. And I told the men that how could I be seen by visitors because we were concealed by the corrugated metal wall. And at that time, I was told also to Et pack my luggage to go further. Then I moved to an office where food uh, would be offered to us, and we, I was told that I would be taken to Dai Graham. On the trip, uh, I was asked whether I knew Dai Graham, and I said, uh, I knew Dai Graham, and uh, he told me that I had to be tempered there. Only after I recorrected myself, I could be returned to Phnom Penh. I was saddened by the news because I never done anything wrong. 
my husband uh, disappeared and I could never meet him again. So I, now I did nothing wrong and I had to be tempered. I got married again in 1993. The president, uh, thank you, witness, and thank you, counsel. Uh, since it is now appropriate time for adjournment, uh, we adjourned for 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed by 3 o'clock. Court officer is now instructed to assist the witness and uh, her assistant during the break. Some culture.